For our food project, we volunteered at the Boys and Girls Club of New Haven to better educate young children about the importance of a healthy and balanced diet. The mission statement of the Boys and Girls Club advocates that all young children have a right to reach their full potential as productive, caring, and responsible citizens. One key factor that often receives too little attention in the classroom is education in regards to nutrition and healthy eating habits. We know that one's diet is important in sustaining a healthy and happy life. We therefore wanted to teach the young children of New Haven what we know about nutrition and hope that they will create healthier eating habits. We visited the boys and girls on three separate Thursdays for two hour sessions. The first hour of every session consisted of an education forum and the second hour of every session consisted of physical activity. On the first day, children were broken up into two groups. In one group, we interviewed the children to learn about their eating habits with four questions. One, what do you usually eat for breakfast? Two, what do you usually eat for lunch? Three, what do you usually snack on? And four, how many times a week do you eat fruits and vegetables? In the second group, we planned a branding activity for the children to take part in. Every child participated in both groups. After we completed these two activities, we explained the importance of physical activity to the children in a large group. We emphasized its importance as it affects one's weight and health. For the last hour of the session, the children broke off into two teams and scrimmaged each other. What do you usually eat for breakfast? Um, 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 tea and pancakes, cereal and tea. Um, 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 honey nut Cheerios. Pancakes and eggs and bacon and sugar and orange juice. Toast. Cereal. I eat cereal. Cornflakes. Cereal. Cereal and a bagel. Puss and fruits. Cheerios. Uh, waffles and sausage. I had pancakes and waffles. Waffles and pancakes. Eggs. Uh, egg and, a sausage, egg and cheese on a croissant. Cereal. Juice, it comes in a little bag. Muffins and graham crackers and a juice and, and a milk for our cereal. Cereal. Frosted Flakes. Pizza and waffles. Pop cereal and luggage charm cereal. Waffle and a sauce. What do you usually have for lunch? Oh, cheap pizza. Um, pizza, um, kini, um, kina cobs. Fruit snacks. The packs that have gummy stuff in them. Snacks. Um, peanut butter sandwich with crackers on top. Rice and beans. Macaroni and cheese with chicken. Chips and a sandwich. Pizza. I have steak and cheese. Sandwiches or leftovers. Raviolis, vegetables, or we have chicken, and then Cheetos or something. A ham sandwich. Hot dogs, hamburgers, and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. A BLT. Some pizza. McDonald's. What snacks do you usually have throughout the day? Oh, crackers. Sticka bars, um, gummy bears, and kidney cobs. Toast. I snack on a fruit, two fruits, and a bag of Doritos. Pudding and two juices. A fruit snack. Chips. When I go to school, I pack a snack for school because we have snacks during class. Sun chips and juice, Cheetos, and 
a sandwich, some Doritos, or a chocolate bar. Oreos, pretzels, and my favorite drink is strawberry kiwi snack. Fun fries! How many times a week do you eat fruits and vegetables? Um, 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 just, just once a week! Like two. Popeyes. 
Popeyes. Chicken. Popeyes. 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 Louisiana Popeyes. <laughs> Popeyes. High five. Burger King. 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 Cheetos. Duck and Donuts. Duck and Donuts. Coffee. Duck and Donuts. 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 Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts. McDonald's. McDonald's. Fries. McDonald's. 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 Day two, children were broken up into three groups. Each group received a 30 minute lesson from a mentor. The mentors first engaged the children by asking them to brainstorm what they knew about healthy foods and the importance of a healthy diet. Every child wrote down anything they knew about the importance of a healthy diet on a piece of paper. Upon completion, children were asked to write down what they want to know about nutrition and healthy foods. Each group then listened to their mentor as she taught them about nutrition. 
we taught the children the following. How to generally measure serving size, that a healthy plate consists of vegetables, a lean meat or beans, and grains, preferably whole grains. Examples of some whole grains are whole wheat crackers, breads, pastas, muffins, and bagels. Fruits and vegetables are the foundation of a healthy diet. They are low in calories and nutrient dense, which means they are packed with vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and fiber. Try to eat a rainbow of fruits and vegetables every day and with every meal. The brighter the better. Colorful, deeply colored fruits and vegetables contain higher concentrations of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, and different colors provide different benefits, so eat a variety. Aim for a minimum of five portions each day. Try to limit fruit juice because it contains a ton of sugar. Based off of their previous answers from the conducted interviews, we also taught them what doesn't count as a fruit serving, like fruit strips, gummy bears, fruit snacks, and fruit roll-ups. The recommended amount of vegetable consumption is one to two cups per day. Orange and dark green leafy vegetables are the best for their bodies. The recommended amount of water consumption is one and a half to two liters per day, which is about six to eight cups of water. We should stay away from added sugars and salts. Processed foods like chips, cookies, candies, and other snack foods contain tons of empty calories. Empty calories are calories from solid fats and are added sugars that add calories to the food but few or no nutrients. Examples of food with empty calories are cakes, cookies, pastries and donuts, sodas, energy drinks, sports drinks and fruit drinks, cheese, pizza, ice cream, sausages, hot dogs, bacon and ribs. We ended with a summary of foods to consume and foods to avoid as well as nutritious alternatives to their usual breakfast cereals. Instead of eating Frosted Flakes, Lucky Charms, Fruit Loops, and Reese's Puffs, we advise the kids to consume Mini Wheats, Regular Cheerios, Life, and Kicks, based off of Pro Professor Brownell's work with the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation and the Rudd Center. Additionally, we advise the kids to limit solid fats and added sugars, as well as fast foods, refined grains, saturated fats, and trans fats. We taught the kids to replace less healthy foods with more nutritious choices. These include seafood, whole grains, non-fat or low-fat dairy foods, lean protein, eggs, beans, and of course, fruits and vegetables. After the group discussions, the children were given two handouts, one sheet highlighting the five food group servings and amounts, and another describing healthy eating for an active lifestyle with 10 tips for combining good nutrition with physical activity. Following the day's lesson, the children broke off into two teams, Every child was assigned to do 50 jumping jacks before scrimmaging. The mentors then played soccer with the children. Day 3. In one large group, the children were taught about the energy-giving, body-building, and body-regulating foods, otherwise known as Go, Grow, and Glow foods. Energy-giving Go foods. The main nutrients in this food group are carbohydrates and fats. Carbohydrates and fats are chief sources of energy. Examples of food in this group are rice, corn, root crops, bread and bakery products, noodles, cooking oil, butter, margarine, and other fats and sugars. Bodybuilding Grow Foods These foods are high in protein and minerals needed for growth and repair of body tissues. Protein also gives energy, but it is important as a bodybuilding nutrient. The foods in this group are meat, fish, poultry, eggs, milk and milk products, and dried beans like mango and nuts. These foods are also high in vitamin A and iron that can be used readily by the body. Here, we also stress the two important nutrients for healthy growing bodies, calcium and protein. Our bones support the whole weight of our bodies so we can stand up, sit down, and move around. There's an important mineral called calcium, which our bones really like. In fact, calcium is what they're made of. Without enough of it, our bones are more likely to fracture or break. One of the most well-known examples of food that contains calcium is milk and other dairy products like cheese and yogurt. We also taught them that certain veggies also contain calcium. It's true, collard greens and broccoli are two good examples. Protein gives us energy and does many special jobs for our bodies, like helping us break down food, make sure we get well when we're sick, and keeping our muscles and bones strong and healthy. Protein can be found all over your body, including in your bones, muscles, and organs. Examples of food that provide healthy protein are lean meats, beans, eggs, dairy, and soy. Regulating Glow Foods Included in this group are fruits and vegetables high in vitamins, minerals, and fiber. Vitamins and minerals are essential for growth, for healthy eyes, for strong bones and teeth, and high resistance to infections. Fiber is important for regular bowel movement. Following the educational lesson, the children participated in an hour of physical activity, which consisted of relay races, soccer drills, and a scrimmage. 
the children were given an exercise tracking sheet to help highlight the importance of daily exercise, as well as different ways they can get moving. Kinna Cobb McDonald's McDonald's 